could you see yourself in a polygamous relationship? Well, let me just say, um, I'm actually in a open relationship and, you know, I feel like it's kind of the same, but uh-huh. it's not because I don't, I don't see me being with, to me, like the polygamous thing is a man that is married to several women. Uh-huh. So that gives like that sister wife thing. Um, now I don't mind sharing my man. Uh, I actually love it. Um, but to me, if there's too many peas in that pod, <laughs> I'm out. You out? <laughs> I, I can't do it. You know, but I'm just saying to each his own. But yeah. for me, you know, being in an open relationship is fine because I. It's all about communication. I can be with someone. First of all, I'm bisexual. So being with a woman and a man, that's my comfort zone. Okay. So if my man wants to be with a, a woman other than the one that, you know, we may have, that's fine. And vice versa. However, it's all about communication. That doesn't mean you just go out and do whatever you, you know, people just look at that like it's a, a you know, a hall pass. It's, it's not. They look at it as a way to do whatever. I, whatever right. I still need to know what's going on. And you have to set boundaries. You know, that's mm-hmm. important because if you don't set boundaries, then feelings are going to get hurt. Mm-hmm. And I'm not I'm not about hurting feelings and um, definitely hurt. not about getting mine hurt. <laughs> that's <laughs> true. So uh, a side question on the question. Uh, what made you decide that an open relationship is the is the thing for you? Well, for me, I just, um, I feel like it, I've always been in relationships where, you know, I'm giving, uh, because I'm bisexual, Mm -hmm. I'm giving my mate that pleasure of being with two women and and doing whatever he wants. I really don't, I don't mind. Mm -hmm. I I'm secure enough that I actually record and watch. Like I, I'm, I'm excited, you know. <laughs> but most men, if you, if you be honest, even probably you, are not gonna be like, oh yeah, babe, come on, you know, we can have a threesome. Because that's something I want to do. I want to have a threesome with two men. But as soon as I bring that up, oh yeah, and are like, oh hell no, you, uh, mm, no, you're not gonna, uh, uh-uh. uh. It, it's hey. like. It's like hell and hell, hell <laughs> and hell. It's, it's a lot of hell now. <laughs> it's, it's, it's even worse than, than hell now. You get the. Yeah. It's not, I know you lying. Yeah. What? No, this all you going to get right here. Yeah. But, but this, but I could share, I could share you with another female. Why can't, to me, it's only fair. Uh, I guess, I guess that, that, that would lead for you to find uh somebody that, I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not open to that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even gonna have a. Uh, yeah, we ain't, we're not even gonna conversate about that. I'm going. You know, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get in my feelings if you even bring that to my attention. I'm gonna be like, what the f-? yeah, you know. Well, but, it is a touchy subject. I mean, I mean, um, it's not something you just decide overnight. Like, you know what? This is what we're gonna do. No, it a lot goes into that. So it it is a gradual thing. It's not a just wake up and be like, you know what? Let's just be in an open relationship. You okay with that? You okay? Oh, okay, cool. A lot of thinking goes into that, uh, you know, weighing your pros and cons. And just basically, you have to have a strong foundation for your relationship. Mm-hmm. It has to be me and you against the world. Because if it's not, you're going to be thinking, oh, what is she over there doing? Or what is he over there doing with her? Mm. Yeah, yeah. I ain't, I ain't look. I go to sleep <laughs> fine at night. I'm not worrying about it. Because I know what I bring to the table and I know who I am. And even I can only control myself. Well, I think with the with, with men and women, they're different. Because, you know, in the mindset, the man is probably not mindset. It's they're looking at you as. You you ours, so we don't want to share you with a with a you know or another yeah. man. Once another man get a hold of you, you start feeling you know. So it's 
I think it's a it's a different type of chemistry with with uh with that. Yeah. But I do know uh I do I they're not like personal friends, but I do know guys who have told me that you know they have you know they have all they have done that. Like I have a friend that um him and his wife they they have um I wouldn't say it's an open relationship, but they bring women into into their bedroom because she likes women also, and of course, exactly. you know, so they bring you know. And uh, only a few people know, because you'll never know, because they're, they're, they told me out of, because uh, I'm a good friend of theirs, and um, it's just one of those things that they have an awesome relationship from what they from what they tell me with how their life transpire in the bedroom. So that means know. that they have a great uh, relationship and they have major trust, because I've done that in the past with one of my ex-husbands and it didn't end so well for me. It didn't work out well. Yeah. Mm -mm. I'm like, because you're supposed to be just fucking this chick. And what you know what you're doing is what happens is you, he fell in love. That's okay. what happened. Yeah. First of all, I brought her in and he said, oh no, I don't want to be with her. You're good enough. I don't want to be with her. Don't lie. Yeah, yeah. Then you decided not to be with her with me and be with her by yourself. So yeah. you cheated when you didn't even have to cheat. Yeah. Yeah, he he yeah. that's senseless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't even okay. know. Yeah. yeah he, okay. Yeah, he deserved donkey of the day. He deserved donkey yeah. of the year of the century. Like why would you fuck up what you have to go a little thing, you know. Yeah. I don't know. Guys guys are weird at times. Oh. So um yeah. 